How does it feel to be a woman in a man's world? Would you believe they still ask that once in a while? He says, I'm going to tell you in front now that I really had to talk you up because the guy who's in charge of the state didn't want you because you're female. Had never heard me play a note now. I didn't know whether I was a, had the ability or not, but he didn't want me principally because I was female. You had to prove yourself. A man is accepted until he proves himself that he's not good, whereas a woman, you have to prove yourself to be accepted. Fellows say, gee, you're really good for a bunch of girls. Oh, thank you, you know, you're pretty good for a bunch of guys. He would follow me around. He'd say, you know, you keep playing so good every night. Uh, I heard that uh, girls have a period in, 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 in the, they, they get kind of cramps and things. I said, Johnny, I play better when that happens. He said, uh, you're going to be rejected because you're a woman and you're black. That's two strikes against you. And he says, and then you, you're playing jazz. That's three. When you know the history of the music and you know from whence it came and, and, and the peop and some of the characters that were involved in, in creating and perpetuating the music and the ups and downs that the art form itself has gone through and you parallel it with the social climate of its various eras. Not only does it make you proud, but it's a part of a long story. One that started way before you got here and one hopefully that will continue way after you're gone. The thing about jazz history is we need to look at all the players. We need to have everything on the table if we're going to appreciate the fullness, richness, the diversity that exists in jazz. It's a reflection of American culture. No one should be left out.